we lift up Jesus. He is King of Kings. We lift up Jesus. He is Lord of all. We lift up Jesus. He is King of Kings, King of Kings, and Lord of all. Oh, we lift up Jesus. He is King of Kings. We lift up Jesus. He is Lord of all. We lift up Jesus. He is King of Kings, King of Kings, and Lord of all. I do lift up Jesus. He is King of Kings. We lift up Jesus. He is Lord of all. We lift up Jesus. He is King of Kings, King of Kings, and Lord of all. Trending last week is the call for Nigerians to defend themselves. And the National Assembly has a bill going on to say that Nigerians should be empowered with firearms to defend themselves. I am of the view that like there are two schools of thought. While some have okayed it, that is very good in view of the current um, security situation in the country. Others are of the view that it is not good for the country as at this point because it will lead to further breakdown of law and order. <coughs> Excuse me. I agree with the second view that say that Nigeria for now is not ripe for that. While it is true that we must rise and defend ourselves, our families, our nation, our community, while it is true that the Constitution allows for self-defense and the law, of course, allows for self-defense, while it is true that religions like that of the Christian faith does not forbid a self-defense, especially if you look at the Old Testament, you see there where Israel had to defend her territory, her lives of her citizens. We want to say here that while all those things are true, the question that comes when you say defend yourself, like the governors, some of them have said defend yourself. The next question is what are you going to use to defend yourself? Is it bow? Is it cutlass? Is it knife? Is it fake? What are you going to use? Knife? What will you use to defend yourself? So you see that while they say defend yourself, it also leaves room for a lot of questions. What will you use? And the National Assembly now coming to say, okay, we'll make a law to say, arm yourself. Which, when will you arm yourself? Before you say, arm yourself. Before the ammunition will come. Before they'll do the clearance. Before they'll do the design. Everybody would have been wiped off the face of Nigeria. But we are here to say that there is a better way. Because the, country, the situation in the country now is very uh, precarious. It's um, dicey. We already have banditry, kidnapping, a lot of disorder, unknown gunmen on the rampage. You now come and say, okay, everybody have arms, defend yourself. At this point, we'll be destroying the gains of government. We'll be, instead of us consolidating that which government have established, that which is already on ground and building on it, we'll be scattering it and destroying it. So we have come to say that there is a better way. There is a better way. And that better way is for us to call upon God, the God that is awesome, the God that is great, the God that is the greatest, the God that is the most powerful, the God that can do and undo, the God that has the final say. Yes, they are beating the chest, they are making their boast, they are saying all manner of things. 
they are wielding, wielding their weapons. Yesterday on our program, Church on the Air, on Jordan and 3.9 FM, we call our call to say, eh, this thing you are saying, what do you want the governors to have said? What do you want the people to do? When you see some areas, he said, like in Kaduna, they will stay in one place, robbing, robbing, kidnapping, doing all, unleashing atrocities with their various weapons of sophisticated weapons. He said they'll be there for three days, four days, and security personnel will not come to, to, to drive them, to say why, to, to attack them or to, to counter them. He said, what did we expect? Well, well, all those may be true. We are saying that there is a way, a way. A way, a way that is better than all the ways. Let's go back to our maker. Let's go back to the King of Kings. Let's go back to the Lord of Lords. Let's go back to him who made the heavens and the earth. The creator of all. Let's go to him and say, Daddy, we need you. Daddy, we need you. We need you. Yes, oh, we need you, Lord. We need you, oh, we need you, Lord. We lift up our voices and cry and say, Oh Lord, help us. We need you, yes, we need you, Lord. I need you, yes, I need you, Lord. Oh, come down and help us, Lord. We need your help. He can do it. And God can do it. So I'm presenting to you the best alternative. The only alternative we have now. Because any other one will destroy the country. Any other one will turn the country upside down. And that one is for us to go back to our maker and call upon him and say, Father, we have erred. Father, we have erred. We have brought um, uh, chaos upon ourselves. We have brought disorder on ourselves. We have brought strife, pain, misery upon ourselves. Because all that is happening is man-made. It's man-made. But we can say, God, have mercy. Daddy, have mercy. And when we call before him, he will answer. Why do we say so? Let's look at Isaiah 40. Isaiah 40, 15, 17. Isaiah 40, 15 says, All nations before him are as nothing as a drop of a bucket, less than nothing. We are not talking about a segment of a banditry now. We are not talking about a set of unknown government now. We are not talking about a set of kidnappers now. The verse of scripture we have read in Isaiah 40, 15, 17, says all nations, all nations, that means all the continents of the world, before this our God, are as a drop of a bucket. That is why we say, let's go back to him. Let's go back to him. Why someone has offered to say, okay, um, let there be laws. Let's enact a law to empower every Nigerian to have a gun. I'm saying, let's go back to him, the Prince of Peace. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the owner of the universe, the great I am that I am, the God that has no equal, the God that has no rival, the God that can do and undo. It is stated here very clearly for us. Isaiah 40, 15, 17, and 22. All nations before him are as nothing, as a drop of the bucket, less than nothing. So those beating their chest over a nation, they are less than nothing. All the kidnappers, they are less than nothing. All those terrorists, they are less than nothing. All those welding the AK-47 and all the sophisticated weapons, they are less than nothing before God. All those that say, ah, they have the machinery of whatever, and they are using it against the people. They want to use it against those that, 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 that gave them strength to come in. We are not now talking about all of government, but as it is now, yes, there must be some people there that are aiding and abetting. We don't know them. We don't know them. And we are sure that our president doesn't know if he knows. We'll do something about it. But whether he knows or he doesn't know, we come before the God that knows all. The great I am that I am to say that, God, you can turn this battle around. God, Nigeria can make it. Nigeria will make it. The nations of the world that call upon you, Ukraine and all that call upon you, even Ukraine. I don't know why they are going to begging those people for arms, arms to destroy their nation, to scatter their nations. Russia is just looking for, they just want to defend their territory. They say, oh, you're romancing with the West, you're romancing with uh, Europe, wanting to be part of NATO and all that. It's a threat to our security. Don't go there, be on your own. Is it too hard to say, okay, we do our own, we are very neutral. After all, North Korea is on their own. They've not died. And they are surviving and they are making waves. 
even though prayers is on for them not to, to use it um, negatively. But North Korea, they're on their own. There are so many nations like that, that they are just on their own. Cuba, for a very, very, very long time, it was when Obama came. Obama said, We've been doing this thing for over 50 years. It's not working. You made sanctions. You did this. You did that. The people did their own. Let's embrace them. But for over 50 years, they were on their own. Why can you not be on your own and save your people instead of calling for the West and they are giving you bombs, giving you this, and you are using it to scatter? You say you are winning. What are you winning when they are bombarding everything, scattering everything? Nigeria will not go that way. We will not go that way. We refuse to scatter our nation. We refuse to use our hands to scatter it. And so we are saying here this morning that all nations before him, whosoever, whatsoever, whatsoever be the forces that are ravaging our nations, they are as a drop of bucket, less than nothing. Less than nothing. Less than nothing. Olorun agbaye o ya mighty. Olorun agbaye o ya too much. Olorun agbaye o ya excellent. Olorun agbaye o ko ma so babi re. Se bi wo lo foju orun sha sobora o. Se bi wo lo foju orun sha sobora o. Olorun agbaye o ya too much. The song says the Lord God Almighty you are too much. The owner of the heavens and the earth, you are too much. The God that owns all, you are too much. You are above our problems. You are above our trials. You are above our challenges. You are above all that afflicts us. And so this morning, we are saying, let's not go that way. Self-defense is good. But let us now use this self-defense to call upon God. To say, God, defend us as individual, as a nation, as a family. Defend us. Let our self-defense be in God. Let our trust, our hope, not be in, in ourselves, but in our God. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor mm -hmm. Mrs. Edith Atake. of Ministries International. We seek the oneness of Nigeria. We seek the peace of Nigeria. We are here to uphold the hands of our nation and to declare and decree that Nigeria will not go under. Do visit our YouTube channel, Church on the Air, Banner of Love Ministries International. We have a lot of video clips there loaded for you. Subscribe, share. Not only my messages, any message you see that is edifying, that is good, that is unifying, post. And you say, I don't have the pastor, I don't have the... Just, you, the daily devotionals are flying around. You like anyone they wrote that is encouraging, share it. People are in need of encouragement. The world is in need of encouragement. Mm -hmm. Share, share, share. On Facebook, we have five vibrant pages. Search the scriptures. When you pray and I pray, nation building, search them out. Subscribe, like, share. God bless you. God bless you. Let's keep faith with our God. Let's call upon God. Let's trust Him. Call upon Him. And He will answer us and do for us exceedingly abundantly above our requests. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much for streamlining, for listening, for sharing. God bless you.